Hey friends, it's essentially Jesse. I wanted to share with you guys, I've had several questions about by Killian's rolling in love. And I wanted to let you guys know where I'm at on this. What's, you know, the notes, is it worth it? Is it worth the money? All of those things. So here we go. I first heard about rolling in love from Carlos who his channel was Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, and I loved watching his reviews. He loved this fragrance. He wore it himself as a man, even though it's in a red bottle, and I can definitely see a man wearing this fragrance. It is lovely. It's beautiful. It is a floral almond fragrance. Um, the top notes are almond milk and ambrette, like musk mallow. And the middle note is iris, iris and freesia, which I don't get a ton of the freesia. I do get some of the iris. Iris is also in Dior Homme, and so I pick up a little bit of that iris note. And then the base is tuberose, vanilla, tonka bean, and musk. And the gourmandness of the dry down in this is delicious. So when I first smelled this fragrance, I thought, okay, this is a floral. And then the more it changes and dries down, the more I realize it's a gourmand and it is delicious. Um, it's so good with the tuberose and those gourmand notes. It was kind of, I'm not always the biggest fan of almond fragrances. I, I don't know. I don't know why. What's your favorite almond fragrance? Or is there another, um, like nut that you like pistachios or something like that, like some kind of nutty scent that you like in your fragrances, drop that in the comment section below. Also let me know if you have Rolling In Love, if you've smelled Rolling In Love, do you love it, do you hate it, are you in the middle? I don't gravitate towards wearing this enough. I really like this fragrance. I may put it on my perfume tray for this week, so you may see it over on my Instagram if I'm wearing it, if I'm loving it, all of those things. This fragrance is probably, I kind of want to start doing a rating system. So if, I don't know, Tom Ford's Black Orchid is a 10, um, just for longevity and um, performance, projection, just the scent complexity, but still being able to be understood when you wear it like i think tom ford's black orchid smells really good on other people i think when i first smelled it for myself out of the bottle on my skin i was like what in the world it was just so complex for me at that time and so now when i smell it on other people i think oh my goodness they smell so good because i know exactly what it is so this fragrance has its own has its own fragrance. It doesn't smell like other Killian's. That's one thing that I love about Killian. You know, some fragrance houses kind of have their starting DNA and then they kind of layer things onto that to where everything kind of smells a little bit similar. Killian, I feel like everything, I mean, this smells nothing like Angel Share. This smells nothing like Straight to Heaven or Intoxicated. You know, all of those things. It's just, it's its own standalone fragrance and it is beautiful, 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 beautiful. So now it's starting to dry down on my skin. You can see the oil concentration is really good in this fragrance. <clears throat> if you can see the shininess on my hand. So you might be careful. I'm not even sure what color the liquid is. Oh, it looks like it's a little bit mildly like yellowish. Um, but it's in this red bottle, so it's kind of hard to tell unless you look straight down on it. But you might be careful spraying this on your clothing. Rolling in Love is obviously very oily, has high oil content. So you wouldn't want to ruin like a white shirt with it but it's completely unisex let me show you guys the bottle it's beautiful i love how they made it red and it's called rolling in love i just i think that it is really stunning i love the sides of the bottles for all of the killian fragrances so this truly is a unisex fragrance i will say that it doesn't last on me super long but i will also say that it is so new to my collection because i think i got this maybe at the end of may um it is so new to my collection that i haven't worn it a ton like i said i'm gonna put it on my tray this week i will give you all the all the deets but it is a beautiful fragrance i will probably start over spraying it now that i know that the dry down is just beautiful but i had uh done like new fragrances that i picked up back in may i'm pretty sure it was may 
Um, and someone had asked me about this one to do a full review. So here I am. And I don't know that a lot of YouTubers are out there talking about it, but if you love almond and you love gourmand fragrances that aren't overly sweet, that don't taste like drippy caramel vanilla because that's not what this is. This is a beautiful tube rose. It kind of, not exactly, but similar to, uh, is it Tuberosa Cafe or Cafe Tuberosa by Atelier Cologne. Um, it kind of has that same vibe where it's floral but also gourmand. This is slowly becoming one of my favorite, like, olfactive categories. It's like a floral with gourmands. I love them. I love them. I love them. Anyway, so I would probably give Killian's Rolling in Love like an 8 out of 10. I really do like this fragrance. Um, I will always be 100% honest with you guys. I will always tell you if a fragrance is good, if it's it, this smells, the quality of this smells so good. It also mildly reminds me because I had to, I blind bought this because I didn't have access to samples. I couldn't go anywhere in town and smell it. So I blind bought it, but I will say that it very mildly reminds me of Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Leger, the lighter one. I think that there's some gourmand notes in there that are the same or similar to the gourmand notes in Killian's Brilliant Love. So with that being said, great fragrance. So glad that I picked it up. Are there any other fragrances that you guys want me to do like a single fragrance review on or do you want me to battle out some fragrances? As always, drop me a comment below and let me know what you are dying to see because obviously I'm producing content for you guys. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that we get to engage in the comment section and over on Instagram. I have just some great followers and subscribers and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, all the things. Thank you so much. Smell you later.